back in the day, when I was in high school, we used to freestyle on the way to class. Got my textbooks in my hands, to the left is my friend. In my hand is my pencil, it's my right utensil. <laughs> I'm Mr. Fulvin. Back in 1994, I could throw a football a quarter mile. I could throw a football over those mountains. Coach would have put me in in fourth quarter, we would have won state. I'd be making millions of dollars, living in a mansion somewhere. I'd be, I'd be in a hot tub, soaking it up with my soulmate. They'd be saying, watch out, here comes big number 77. Coming at you. Things would have been different. Back in my day, things didn't cost as much as they cost now. You could go to the movies for a nickel, and then one time we went to the movies and my mother discovered it was a dime and she was aghast, completely aghast. A dime? How much is popcorn now? Oh, that's still a nickel? Okay. So we could still go to the movies for 25 cents. Other things that were exciting were uh, when I became the Easter Bunny at the Summit Mall uh, my senior year in um, high school, I got the princely sum of $3.50 an hour and I thought I had died and gone to heaven because I was so wealthy. And all I had to do was have people sit on my lap and wear a costume, it wasn't bad. It was a pretty good gig. Of course it was short lived because it was you know, only like a two to three week job, but still it wasn't bad. I also remember the day John Kennedy died. I was in first grade. A kid was uh, playing on the playground and came inside. I wasn't allowed to go on the playground, I had a cold. He came in and he said, guess what? The president died. And I said, you lie, because I was sure he was wrong. Uh, but he wasn't. And I also remember when Richard Nixon resigned because I thought um, that the whole world was going to collapse in a nuclear holocaust because we had a president that had to resign from office. And yet, here we are. Um, one more thing that was lots of fun to do was ride my bicycle everywhere. And uh, the worst part about riding your bicycle everywhere, because I lived in Ohio where it was very, very hilly, the seven hills of Akron, um, the chain would always come off and everybody would know because you would have to do the walk of shame when your chain came off of your bicycle and push it up the hill to get home. And that was always very sad.